Hello everyone, I'm John Palumba and welcome to this edition of EBM Pabst RPM. I'm here changing out some old incandescent light bulbs for some high efficiency LED light bulbs. We at EBM Pabst believe it's important to do our part to conserve energy, plus we like the added effect on our wallet. And while it's important to make these simple changes, lighting only accounts for 9% of the average household's electric bill. Air conditioning's double that at 18%. And in fact, globally, electric motors make up 45% of the worldwide energy usage. So the question is, is there an LED option for electric motors? The answer is EC. So what is an EC motor? EC stands for electronically commutated, which means instead of using the frequency of the AC power to make the motor spin, there are onboard electronics that make the motor rotate. It is a brushless DC motor. The EC external rotor motor is made up of five key parts. The motor housing, which protects the electronics in the motor winding, the drive electronics, which convert the AC supply voltage to DC and allow the motor to be speed controlled, the maintenance-free ball bearings, which do not need to be serviced at all during the life of the product, the motor winding, which is specifically designed for each impeller and motor combination to optimize efficiency, and the rotor, where the impeller is mounted. One motor technology commonly used today is the shaded pole motor. Shaded pole motor is kind of like the incandescent light bulb of the motor community. I'm here with Marco Latina, and he's going to explain to us some advantages of an EC motor over a shaded pole motor. So, Marco, what do we have here? So, John, in this display, we have an EBM PAPS ACI 4400 series fan with an EC motor. And we're comparing it to a fan with a shaded pole motor. So, since the EC motor is a brushless DC motor, does that mean it requires DC voltage? Well, the ACI 4400 does have a brushless DC motor. It accepts an AC input. So, both these fans can be run off the same power supply. All right, and since there's that power conversion on the EC fan, does that mean that the size of it has to grow? Not at all. We're able to keep the same fit, form, and function as a shaded pole motor. And actually, we're able to get the same airflow as well. Interesting. So what's the advantage of the EC motor? The major advantage is motor efficiency. So as you can see here, we have two power meters, one for each fan. The EC motor is consuming about 5.7 watts, whereas the shaded pole motor is consuming about 17.2 watts. All right, so we're at about a quarter of the power, same airflow, same voltage, and same size. So replacing the shaded pole motor with an EC motor is about as easy as replacing a light bulb. Exactly. EC motors are capable of speed control from 10% to 100% of the maximum speed. Since the power required by a fan has a cubic relationship to the speed the fan is running, there are substantial savings available by speed controlling a fan down. If multiple fans are running in parallel, there are huge savings from speed controlling the fans instead of using on-off operation. Now we have upgraded our AC motor to a permanent split capacitor, or PSC, AC motor. This is similar to upgrading to a fluorescent light bulb. We have a bank of two AC fans on the right and two EC fans on the left. If we want 50% of the airflow with these fans, there are two ways to accomplish it. We could turn one fan off, or we could speed control both fans to 50% speed. The EC motor has speed control built in, while the AC motor would need an external device that's inefficient and could cause the motor to overheat. At full speed, we can see the EC motor is running at about 125 watts, while the AC motors are running at about 136 watts. So already we have almost a 10% power savings just by switching to an EC motor. But watch what happens when we use speed control on the EC motors versus on-off operation on the AC motors. So now both banks of fans are running at 50% airflow, but you can see on the left the EC motors are running at less than half of the power that the AC motors are running at the right. And once again, plug-in replacement when it comes to mounting and wiring. So if you're looking for a good way to go green and save a bunch of green, the answer is EC. I'm John Palumba, and thanks for watching this edition of EBM Pabst RPM. If you're looking for more information on EC technology, stay tuned after the credits for our contact information.